Hello everyone, Operation I'm Musical Daredevil and today's mission involves a new person. This person is a presidential candidate down in Argentina and his name is Alvaro Gutierrez. I'm just going to call him, I guess, President G for short. Now President G has been linked to those missions we did way back in Switzerland, as well as Mr. G, who was responsible for the stuffed out the meatpacking plant and whose house we cleared out a couple missions ago. President G is a member of a far-right party, and really that's all we know about him, so this mission we have to go gather some intelligence about him. How do we do that exactly? Well, what we do is we bug his phone, and we bug his computer. Now, this might sound a little bit familiar, and it'll sound even more familiar when I highlight this little part of the mission orders for you. Yes, this mission, just like that mission in the last game, is a stealth mission, where we are not allowed to shoot everybody. We just have to get in there, place a bug on his phone, place a bug on his computer, and then get out of there, as you can see by the mission objectives. For this team, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be taking two operatives, one on the red team to do a bunch of stuff in the house, and one on the green team to be doing something special that you guys will see a little bit later. Be a shadow. Avoid all contact. There goes Mr. Maldini to his last checkpoint, and we will now venture inside. Luckily, there aren't that many guards in this place. Unlike when you play this map in co-op, where guards spawn everywhere. I'm sure those of you who watch the co-op videos will remember this level somewhat. It's one of the ones we played on. And now we get to introduce a fun little feature in this game, this game's version of the heartbeat sensor. In the first game, the heartbeat sensor was basically a couple of needles that pointed in the direction of someone's heartbeat, and you could sort of determine how far away they were. In this game, it's an awesome set of goggles that looks like this when you put them on. Someone's outline looks like a white circle, so you can see exactly where people are, and you can avoid them if you need to, like right now. In this room here is the guy's computer. There is a guard that patrols the hallway, so we have to duck down and make sure he's far away before we do anything. Can't see him anywhere. I'm lying down right now, just in case you can't figure that out. Looks clear, I think I'll just do it. And the white circle is full, which means that the Excel worksheet he has on his computer has been bugged. And just in time, that card is right here. So now, just like that mission back in the first game, we have to wait for this guy to walk away. As you can probably tell, watching the light circles in your team's actual view is a lot more convenient than watching red blips on a map so you can't see what's going on in the real world. One disadvantage of this particular method of seeing people is that you can't tell who's friendly and who's hostile. They all look like white pulsating circles. Now, why do you have to have your desk so long on that side? It's very inconvenient for people sticking into your apartment and hacking into your computer. Up in this hallway ahead, there's a guard that patrols around in circles, so I have to wait until he walks by, and then we just run into the next room and bug the phone. Doesn't seem to be anywhere around here, though. There's a guard down there. One thing you can hear in the background, just sort of a nice touch to this level, is that several of the guards are all downstairs in a large room watching a football game. And so there are only a few guards patrolling around the house, and the rest of them are all out of the way. And here comes this level's guard. Alright, he's gone. 
Now it's time to go. Making very loud footstep noises in the process. And here is his phone. And off to our right is a window that looks down the room where all the guards are. And if you're stupid enough, they can actually see you. And the phone is done. Mission completed. Outstanding. Okay, what just happened? So you recall from mission orders that the last objective on our mission orders list was to get to the extraction zone all the way on the top. But yet we didn't do that. You'll also recall that I had Mr. Maldini walk out to right here at the beginning of the mission, which is the extraction zone. There is a bug with this particular objective where you can have your operative be wherever, as long as the mission is completed and there is someone in the extraction zone, you complete the mission. Which is what happened here and allowed me to complete the mission without having to wander past the guards again. It's a neat little trick, really. <laughs>